<laughs> hey guys, Miss Sophisticated here coming to you with a um updated video on um the Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome video that I had up before. Um I wanna thank everybody that commented on the video. Um I read every comment. <laughs> I replied to all or almost all the comments that I um received. It's kind of hard because you're limited to um the amount of characters that you can use and it's like a lot more that I wanted to say it's going to better details but it's YouTube um I did the procedure over I did it on the 26th of June that was two weeks ago today makes my third week since I've had the procedure done um it did work this time yeah, I'm happy about it. Like, I feel better. I feel a difference, but um, I still do have my slight, slight palpitations. Um, I went to my doctor yesterday to just make sure everything was good, make sure everything was okay, and it was. So I'll be going back to work today. Um, there was one comment under the video. This is from Kim Richardson, zero nine two eight. Uh, how, she asked basically why did I have to do the procedure over and I have to do it over because the first time it didn't work my doctors went in with the expectation of just looking for the um, abnormal pathway and they found it but they also found the extra nerve they didn't think the extra nerve in my heart was causing any palpitations any feelings that I was having but it was kind of risky. The whole procedure of war was just risky. And um, I guess they wanted to further investigate how would they do it without me getting heart damage or me needing a pacemaker or anything like that. Um, I have two cardiologists, and one of them didn't want to put me on any medication because he said that um, the medication is usually for older people and, you know, every medication that you take it has a swiss complications and everything like that and for my age it'll be too much so he just decided you know not to put me on it so they did the procedure over and it worked um kim richardson she also said that um she still has rapid heartbeats i still have my palpitations too and i spoke to my doctor about it yesterday he said that's something that's not going to go away um, basically because they was treating the abnormal pathway, they can't really do anything about the population. So, Kim, that's something you're going to feel, that's something that you're going to just have to get used to if you're not already used to it, because it's not going to go anywhere. That's something that you're always going to have. Also, um, before I went into the procedure, my doctor, you know, explained to me, when I'm older, I might need a pacemaker, just because everything was just um at a high risk for me you know it was the pathway was on the left left side of my heart all the way to the left side of my heart and where it was was a dangerous spot so what they did in the procedure was they um made a little hole in my heart and they went from the right side to the left side and did the pathway um my overall experience this time was a little bit more traumatic, I could say. Um, the first time I had the procedure, I wasn't asleep. I just had like slight little little medication. This time, they did put me to sleep, but I woke up. <laughs> I woke up in a little procedure, and um, I felt everything. Every, I wasn't numb to anything like that, so I felt everything. When I tell you it hurt, I was in so much going down to was crying. I couldn't really talk anything like that, but the pain was a lot. There was at one point they was doing something in my chest. I don't know what they was doing, but there was something. And um my chest had this tight feeling it hurt. I don't know how to explain it. It was just tight and hurt a lot. <laughs> and I couldn't breathe. Like, something was just crushing my chest. I couldn't breathe at all. And I started to cry because, like, not that much I could really say. And um, 
The doctor asked the nurse asked me what was wrong and I told her I can't breathe and they had to pull out whatever they was doing they just pulled it out because I don't know this time was more traumatic than the other time. Also when they when I went in the recovery room the last time as soon as I went in there I got food like I could just eat. This time I had to wait <laughs> like an hour because they still had the stents in my leg and um, I couldn't eat because the stents, I didn't, I don't understand why, but I just couldn't. So when they um, checked the blood to see how everything was forming, I guess it came out good. And um, when the doctor was coming to take out the stents, I was asking him, why was it there? What is it there for? And it was basically what they was working through. I guess they couldn't take it out right away because I would have bled out. But yeah. Um, after he took the sentence out, I had um, a big bag of saline, right? Because I did it on both legs again. So I had it on both legs just so that um, I don't bleed out and I don't get any kind of swelling or anything like that. Um, in the recovery room, my heart rate kept dropping. No, not dropping. My heart rate was going up and my blood pressure was dropping. So um, there's about three times they gave me medication, twice for the blood pressure and once for the heart rate. Um, yeah, they gave me blood thinners also to um, speed up my recovery because the last time I recovered slow, really, really slow. I had to go to the hospital twice after. Recovery was really slow last time. This time it took me a week to recover. That's the normal rate for most people, a week. And um, I just took another week off from work just because my work requires stuff that I couldn't do. So um, everything was good this time. It healed perfectly. Um, the palpitations are said. That's something I'm used to, so it doesn't really bother me. Everything else is gone. I don't have no chest pains. I'm dizzy when I wake up, but it's not as bad as before. Like, yeah, I still sleep a lot. Before, I thought it was because of my heart problem. Now I'm starting to think because I'm lazy. I don't know, but it's just like I'm tired. So I sleep an awful lot still. Um, uh, yeah. yeah um, yesterday when I went, that was, it was not my last day going. But um, the next time I'll be going to the doctor is in a month from now. And then it's going to be monthly. And then after a year, it's going to be every six months, I believe. And then after six months, it's every year. Something like that. But I won't be seeing a doctor as often as I usually do. So, um, yeah. I don't know if this will be the last update for the wolf Parkinson's white syndrome. Because I don't have it anymore. Um, anybody who's watching this video and they do have it, you could just share your experience, you know. This is something that a lot of people have and they don't know that they have. So, um, I don't know. I guess you could just say you want to share your awareness. Um, there's also somebody I met through the last video. Her name is Katie. Um, I have her on Facebook. She is so sweet. So, so, so sweet. She has a son who has it, and I feel so sorry for him. Not because, you know, he has it, but he's a baby. And it's like me, somebody who's older, and I could talk, basically, and say how I feel, and it's hard for me to express it. You know, it's like, imagine him, and imagine her and what she has to go through, because my mother, my mother would be panicking, and it's like, not what you know doing. But, I don't know, Um, I think it's just easier for everybody to, like, just get together and share your awareness, you know? Um. Every time I told somebody about it, it's like, you got what? Parkinson's? Wolf? What? And it's like, nobody know what it is, but a lot of people do have it. So, um, if you're watching this video, you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave it below. I'm sorry, this thing is like 10 minutes long, and I'm not editing it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, y'all just have a good day, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.